Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some great time together. Today we are going to show you how Muslims, they respond to us. Uh, for sure, they are like Rambo, you know, have a fake in the mission and he keeps shooting and he is the winner always in the movie because the director, he said so. You know, we show the Muslims how silly their prophet is. As an example, when he say, there's five things nobody knows save Allah. Confirming nobody knows, save Allah. It's not like saying, like you know, I can say, okay, God, He knows what is in the in the in the in the mother womb, no problem. But when you say nobody knows, that means nobody knows, and that means nobody will knows. Allah Messenger said, "Keys of unseen knowledge." This is the keys of knowledge which nobody have it. Allah only. Are five. And he mentioned what is in the womb. And the reason we are focusing in the womb because we are talking about uh, the creation of the baby, which is very funny. So we show the Muslims Muhammad saying that a, 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 a child, uh, he is started from sperm and he became a congealed blood. A prophet who said, that the sperm stay in the mother womb for 40 days and then he become a blood for 40 days I mean all the stupid things and women she have a sperm coming from her ribs and the man having sperm coming from his backbone what the Muslim answer us? this is the answer Mr. Arun he says they have certainly this belief who say Allah is the Messiah I mean look at this stupidity <laughs> I mean, they give you an answer have nothing to do with the topic. Why? Because the topic is embarrassing. They certainly disbelieve those who say Allah is the Messiah. First of all, we don't believe in your Allah. Your Allah is a piece of garbage. I advise you to go and fashion a new Allah. You are a pagan person who kiss black stones. Go around the stone, believe it's holy. Your prophet told you, if you touch the stones, those stones erase your sin. So what this have to do? Okay, we, we, we disbelieve. Okay, we, dis, we are atheists now. Are you happy? So how we answer the question? Hmm? What this have to do with our topic? Nothing. If an atheist he is saying to you that Muhammad said this, you say to him, certainly they disbelieve who say Allah, the Messiah is Allah. <laughs> no, the Messiah is not Allah. The Messiah is our holy God. Allah is a scam. <laughs> and we can prove it in two seconds. Have you ever heard of a God? He promised me women with big boobs. Hmm? I want to go with you. Allah is God, right? Okay. You tell me how come this God, he promised me if I believe in him, he will give me women with big boobs. What if I like small ones? What is What the answer will be? His refutation will be, they disbelieve those who say the Messiah is Allah. Look, my, my friend, I'm asking you, what kind of God he promised me women with big boobs? Okay, Christian Prince. I'm going to answer you. They disbelieve those who say the Messiah is Allah. Zachary Nayak, hold on, my friend. I'm not asking you now about the Messiah and who disbelieve, who does not. What kind of God he promised me women in heaven with big boobs? This is the question, focus with me. Christian Prince, first of all, Jesus is not God. Secondly, you Christian, you have a strong and you have a very stupid mathematics. One plus one plus one is equal to one. What kind of mathematics is that, that, that? I get you, I get you, but then. Zakir Naik, you idiot. The question is, what kind of God he promised me women with big boobs? Christian Prince, first of all, we made hundreds of videos refuting you, and we get you, but then. Zakir Naik. My question, <laughs> what, what, what this happened? <laughs> okay, you have.
have a God. His name is Allah. We got it. We got it. The Christian did not believe. We got it. We got it. They worship the Messiah. We got it. We got it. But what kind of God he promised me if I believe in him, he will give me women with big boobs. I mean, it's very simple. They will say anything except the answer. This is why I chose to call the video, Islam is like Rambo, loaded with fake innovation. You like in the, in the movie, like if Rambo is shooting everybody. <laughs> Sometimes people, they fell down before even the bullet is his shot. <laughs> your Rambo is not working here, my friend. Muhammad is Rambo in your movie. Here he is not a Rambo, he is the idiot of the village. So, if we go and read more <clears throat> of their argument, you will see how funny those arguments are. I mean, literally, they are hilarious. They have certainly believed Allah is the third of thee. I mean, look how stupid what you just said to me. How they say that the Messiah is Allah, and then they say the Messiah is the third of a three. Guys, do you see the stupidity of the author of the Quran? Do you see the stupidity? You just post for us a verse says, certainly this believe the one who say Allah is the Messiah. Okay, we got this one. Wonderful. Okay. But then how the Messiah is one of the three, if Allah is the Messiah, so who is the second two? Any Muhammadan? They have certainly this belief who say Allah is the third of the three. Okay, who are the three? The Quran mentioned Mary, which is stupid to say. We don't believe in Mary in the Trinity. I mean, have you heard of a God who do not know even what a basic Christian belief is? The second is Jesus. Who is the third? Any Muslim? Uh, we have uh, we have Ubaidullah saying that uh, uh, his his sister she showed that I lied seventy times. So okay, so I lied only seventy times. That's mean the rest are true. <laughs> Look at the answer. Well, our brother he showed that he lied three seventy times, but you don't your brother your sister don't dare to call me. <laughs> I mean, do you see how, how sure they are they can show I'm lying? So who is the three? We do not know. And how the Messiah is Allah and you believe in the Trinity? How is that? You see, those two verses are total contradiction of each other. Because you cannot have both. Either they believe that Allah is God and the Messiah is God and Mary as the Quran said or they believe Allah is the Messiah if they believe Allah is the Messiah that means they believe in one God that's it there's no, no there's no tree in one they believe in one one person Allah himself is the Messiah so it's a stupid comment not coming from you coming from the stupid Aka God Aka Muhammad and then he says so they will not repent to Allah and see forgiveness, you idiot. Isn't it the Quran says that if you repent or not, Allah will not forgive you? Because Allah decides who will believe, who will not? Let us show you the stupidity of the author of the Quran. Let us go to the yellow pages of Muhammad. Everyone is born as a Muslim, Muhammad said, correct? Everyone is born as a Muslim. Okay, so I was me myself born as a Muslim, which means Islam is the most apostate religion ever in history. Because everybody is born as a Muslim, even the Hindus, even the Buddhas. Okay. Then Muhammad he said, anyone who desire religion other than Islam, which means surrender to Allah, not submission, will never be accepted from him. Okay, wonderful. Okay, 
guys whoever desire religion and another the Islam will not be accepted from him so how the stupid in different verse in the Quran says the Jews and the Christians and the Sabi and they will go to heaven huh let us go oh boy <laughs> Brother, brother, Allah will not accept any religion except Islam, brother. But if you are a Jew, brother, and even if you are a Sabi and who worship the stars, Allah will take you to heaven, brother, and you will get big boobs. <laughs> Allah will not accept any religion. Okay, so what is this? What is this? Those who believe in the Quran between two brackets, this is a Muslim translation, not mine. And those who follow the Jewish scriptures, those are the Jews, actually, the, 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 the Quran says, Hadu, Yahud, you know? And the Christians and the Sabian, the Sabian worship stars. So, how one verse says, nobody, no religion will be accepted from Allah except Islam, and then you accept even the Sabian. What we will do with this? If anyone desire religion other than Islam never will be accepted from him brother uh -huh. okay and then he says how shall Allah guide those who reject faith after they accept it and bore witnesses so the guy the Muslims they made a video about him that he used to be a Muslim what's his name Edward Edward and then he became a Christian and then he became a Muslim <laughs> He became a Muslim. <laughs> How shall Allah guide those who reject the faith after they accepted it and bore witnesses that the messenger was a true and a clear sign come with, a clear sign come with Muhammad? Guys, there is a clear sign come with Muhammad. Like what? <laughs> I will tell you a clear sign, like you know, uh, like he can Im he imagine himself having sex with his wife. In fact, he was not. It was the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Abayd, I like your answer. It's hilarious, my friend. Guys, look at the Muslims how refute us now. Look, we got we, uh, he got us busted. Abayd. there is different opinion about this. I mean, I mean, what kind of religion? Even simple thing. There's different opinion. Uh, is that an answer? The Quran says the Christians, the Jews, the the the, the Sabian, they will go to heaven. You even this one have different opinion. Is it opinion or opinion? I, I would prefer opinion. Brother Sitzar, this is very simple thing to us. He cannot use it against us because we have different opinion about it. <laughs> and the funny, the Quran says we made this Quran so clear. <laughs> And we Muslims, we agree about not to agree about what the verses mean. Al Alhamdulillah. <laughs> what a hilarious comedy show in the morning. Why you make me laugh? I'm losing my voice from laughing, my friend. So there is different opinion. I mean, even a simple verse like this. Okay, let me ask you. What about the big breast? Do you have different opinion about them too? <laughs> I mean, even the most simple verse to avoid the, 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 the scandal in it, they say, brother, let me tell you something. We have different opinion about this one. Uh, yeah, we have different opinion. We Muslims agree about not to agree about any verse in the Quran. Alhamdulillah. And this is why Islam is very solid, the religion, and Islam is very clear, very simple. To the point, we disagree about anything, and we agree. The only agreement is not to agree about any agreement. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, that's that's deep. That's deep. That's very deep. Very. <sighs> hmm. And then and then <laughs> I mean your reputation for us is hilarious. The, the, the Messiah, son of Mary, was not but a messenger. 
other messengers have passed away before him. You know what? I will shave my 20 foot beard if you can show me the word others. What the Quran saying that all messengers before him pass away. And the Quran says the same about Muhammad. Correct? All messengers, they pass away. Okay, so the Messiah pass away too. When the Quran says, hey Muhammad, Muhammad is nothing but a messenger and all messengers pass away before him. قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهُ الرُّسُلُ All messengers die before him. You forget about the Messiah? Stupid Quran. And then his mother was supporter of a truth and both used to eat food. Look how we made the clear sign for them. Okay, hold on. So if somebody eats food, he cannot be God no more. I will go with you. I like that. I mean, this is a good logic. They eat food, brother. They eat food. Okay. So if you eat food, you cannot be God. Okay, why? Uh, because if you eat food, you have to go to the bathroom. Hello? But you Muslims, you will eat food and you will never go to the bathroom in heaven. <laughs> oh, Allah will change our nature there. <laughs> so are you going to be God in heaven because you ate food, you don't do poo-poo? The question is, can you live for 40 days without food and yet you have a flesh of a human? This is what Jesus did. And why Muhammad, he keep inserting his mother? Why? Because the stupid Muhammad, he think that we Christians, you have a wrong form of Christianity, obviously. He don't know what Christianity is. Think that we believe that Mary is God. So if God cannot eat food, that means God cannot be God. Why? Because God is almighty. Let's just say, when, when the Muslim, they say you worship a man, you worship a man. Okay, what does that mean? Well, Jesus come to you as a man, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, then you are worshiping a man. Uh -huh. And that is impossible. God cannot be a man. The Muslim, even the quote from the Old Testament, they says, God is not a man, but they will not show you the, the second part of the verse. It says, who lie? The man lie, God don't. But look at this. When the Quran says that Allah, he sent his ruh, his spirit. And the spirit of Allah appear in the front of Mary as a full man. The Muslim, they say this is Jibreel. They say what? This is Jibreel. Okay. So it is acceptable that an angel can be a man. Even though the verse doesn't say anywhere about angel, anything about angel. It says, we send to her our spirit not angel you see that this is why the muslim translation is always a lie if you change the translator you will find right away different words it is our spirit see our ruh between two brackets jibreel okay how jibreel is a ruh and he is an angel it says our ruh Secondly, how the spirit become a man? If you are saying that Jibreel is capable of being a man, yet he is an angel, yet he was a spirit, and you are saying that God cannot be what angel can be, that's mean God cannot be God because obviously the angel is more powerful. We call God Almighty because he can be whatever he want. Look at this. The funny, the funny Quran, he copied a story from the Old Testament that Allah, he appeared to Moses in the tree. And the tree spoke saying, I am Allah.
in chapter 27, verse number 8. So when Moses came, he heard a sound saying, Blessed is who is ever in, is in the fire, and who is ever around about it. Muslims, who was in the fire and who is around the fire? <clears throat> Remember when the Quran speak about the story of Moses, copy from the Old Testament, that Moses, he went and he saw a bushes and he saw a fire in the bushes. And what the bushes says, let us go and see. When he arrived to the bushes, he heard a voice saying, but when he came to the fire, a voice was heard from the right bank of the valley from a tree in a hollow with the ground. O Moses, I am Allah, the Lord of the world. Well, you just said that Allah become a fire. Because blessed is the one who is in the fire. Okay, who is in the fire? Allah speaking saying, I am Allah. And then the Muslims, they will say to you, we have many opinion about this. Who care about your opinion, my friend? The verse is so clear. Allah spoke from the fire saying, I am Allah. Where is Allah? Is in the tree. What is in the tree? There is a fire. Who is a blessed? And he is inside the fire, Allah. <laughs> so it is possible to Allah to become a burning fuel, but it's not possible for Allah to be a man. Hold on. Is it really possible for Allah to be a man? Just to show you how stupid this cult is. Muhammad is a guy who don't keep his mouth shut. He keep talking. And the more he talk, the more he do poo poo. So if we go in the hadith, we will find that Muhammad confirmed that Allah is a man. In this hadith, Muhammad, he was worried that the Muslims will be confused about Muhammad, sorry, about the, the false Messiah and the real Messiah. But the real Messiah is not Allah. But look what Muhammad said. The Prophet said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist, but I am afraid that the, you might not understand. Uh, who is this guy? Where is the admin? There's no admin here. Potato, the one who says have to kill. You are a dummy. And you are a coward. Do you know the one who want to kill? He don't go in a chat room and he say it. He go and do it. Coward. Don't go to rope. Come to me. Potato. I'm waiting. I have told you so much, brother and sister, about the Dajjal. But I'm afraid that you might not understand. You have the right. You know, he don't, he don't understand. Muslims, he said to them, blue, they, they see red. You say to them, red, they see blue. So I'm afraid, you see, Muhammad here is me, naming a really good con uh, like con concern. He have a good concern. You might not understand. He knew what his kind of followers he have, man. Genius. Uh, I am afraid that you might not understand. The Antichrist is short hinted uh, woolly-haired, one-eyed, and one-eye sightless, and neither protruding nor deep-seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one-eyed. So Allah is a man, and Allah have eyes, and he have two. And he looked the same as this man. The only difference between them is one eye. So everything the Muslim, they say to you, they reject the fact it is they accept. As you see, Allah is a man. And he have a hands, he have a shin, he have a face, he have two eyes, and even Muhammad is afraid that we will, or Muslims will, be misleaded about if he is the true Messiah or the false Messiah. But remember, the Antichrist will come and say, I am the Messiah. He will not say, I am Allah. So why Muhammad is worried that we will think he is Allah? Because he looked the same as the Messiah. The foolish Muhammad, in different hadith, he said this. 
copying the Old Testament. Is it, this is what the Old Testament says. The Prophet of Allah said, when you fight, you, he must avoid the face, the face of what of your brother. Why? Because Allah created Adam on his own image. Do you see it? Do you see it, Muslims? In different hadith, Muhammad, he have more details. So he said to you that Allah is 60 foot tall or 60 arm tall. Abu Huraira reported that Allah Prophet said, the Prophet, may Allah bless him, says, uh, uh, Allah created Adam, may Allah bless him and grant him peace. Uh, uh, and his height was 70, 60 spans. <laughs> You know, uh, somebody called Darwin. Huh? Somebody should call Darwin. Who want to do that? Anyone? <laughs> so look. They say to us, God cannot be a man, God cannot be a man, God cannot be a man, and then we find that their God is a man. And he is fat. And he is short. And he have two eyes. And not only this, are we done? No. Allah is a transformer. You see, they will not accept that Jesus come to us in a form of a man, and God can do that. But look what the, what the Hadith says. Hmm. Let us see the Hadith. Uh, this website sometime uh, <clears throat> let us see Uh, let us see. <clears throat> okay. Give me a second. Let us find the hadith. Allah. Allah, he changed his shape. Do Allah change his shape? Yes, he do. Let us show you how many hadith. Here we go. Let's put it in the screen. <clears throat> it says here, they asked Muhammad, are we going to see Allah in the day of resurrection? Muhammad, he compares seeing Allah to a physical object, like the moon and the sun. He says, are you? Yes, he said, yes. Are you going to have difficulty to see uh, the sun when it's not hiding by the cloud? They said, no. He said, do you crowd and squeeze each other to looking at the moon when the full when it's full and it's not hiding by the cloud? They said, no. He said, so you will see your Lord. So we will see Allah. Okay. But how Allah will look like? Let us see. Muhammad, he make it clear. 
He said Allah will come to you in a shape. And remember, I'm not the one who is using the word shape. And if you say to me the word shape is surah, well, Adam khalaqahu ala suratihi. Suratihi, this is Adam, a creation, it's a shape. He fashioned him from a clay. Look what Muhammad, he says. Allah will come to them in a shape. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they knew, they knew, and will say, I am your Lord. <laughs> they will say, we seek refuge from you, with, with, with Allah from you, which means the Muslims, they will consider Allah shaitan. You see how much they, they are deceived? Even their God, Satan himself, is coming to them. They will reject him. Why? Because he changed his look. Because he changed his look. How he changed his look? He have different shape. Muslim, they don't follow God. They follow a shape. So, if you want to say to me, this is a lie, well, this is your prophet, and this is Sahih Bukhari. <laughs> so Allah will come to you in a shape other than the one they knew and say, I'm your Lord, and the Muslim, they will say to you, get lost. You are not. And then Allah, look, Allah now, he, he got spanked. Get out of here. We seek refuge by Allah from you, which means they accuse him to be shaitan. How you do that, your God? Just because he changed his shape, yes. And we will not follow you. And then Allah, and then when our Lord come to us, we will recognize him. So the Muslim, they said to him, don't fool us. You are not Allah. And when Allah, the true Allah, come to us, we will recognize you. Muslims, is that what you did to Jesus? You did not like his shape? If we ask the Muslim now the question, which is, they will never answer anyway. What is the shape Allah is coming with to the point you don't like? Any Muslim can tell us? <clears throat> Look, Allah is coming to you in a shape. Aren't you Muslim, you say Allah is unchangeable? He don't change, right? Okay. You, and you quote for us this from the Old Testament. You say, God don't change. We don't believe that God changed. You see, God, if he come to us in a form, doesn't mean he changed. Nothing changed. God is still his holy. What make God God is not his look. It is his ability and his ethic. What makes Satan, Satan is not his look, is his ability and his ethic. Do you agree? What make a man a man is his ability and his ethic. Men are sinners and their ability is limited. They cannot do what God can do. Same as angels. Same as Satan. So everybody, every, every one of those characters we are using is given a name depend in his ability what he can do and what he cannot do. So if God, he cannot do something, that's mean he cannot be God. And now your God is coming to you with image, which you don't like. What that is image? Any Muslim can tell us? How embarrassment it is to you as a Muslim that your God, he come to you and he is Allah. And then you shout at him and you say to him, you are not our Lord. And not only that, you accuse him to be the devil himself. Why? Just because he changed his shape. So you Muslim, you don't have a religion, you do not have a belief, you have a shape, you are a shape worshipper. And then Allah will come to them in the shape they know. In different hadith, it says translation, in the, the shape they, they saw first time. Did you see Allah first time? <laughs> And then he will say, I am Allah. They will say, no doubt you are our Lord. Look, what? But this is the same person. Here we notice that Islam is a joke. Allah 
It's not fit for Allah to come as a man. It's not fit. Okay, so Allah, he came to you obviously in a fit which doesn't fit. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and they will say, they will say I am your Lord. They will say we seek refuge from Allah, with Allah from you. So if Allah, it's not fit for Allah to come as a man. It's not fit for Allah to have a look of a man. It's not fit for Allah to have a body of a man. Allah here taking a shape of what which is obviously not fit to the point you Muslim you rejected him. Again, Islam is a stupid religion. And this is the reference for the hadith, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari. They cannot say it's weak. But trust me, they will, you know, they will find it. And this guy, his name is Yasser, and Yasser said to Tutu, and Tutu said to Mumu, and Mumu said to Kiki, and Kiki says to Sisi, and Sisi is a liar. <laughs> you are, are the same so when the muslim they answer us and say they disbelieve who say we laugh at you my friend we disbelieve for sure still you cannot answer what kind of god he promised you women with big boobs hmm? still you have no answer hmm what kind of God he says to you, you will stay in your mother womb for 40 days as a sperm? The answer is, they disbelieve who say Jesus is God. <laughs> what kind of a prophet he cannot even repeat how God he created the earth and the heaven? Here it is seven. In the Quran, one verse is saying six, the other verse is saying eight. Which one of them is saying the truth? It is six, it is eight, or it's seven. Which God cannot remember which one he created first? The stars or the mountains? Which one? The trees or the stars? Which one? One verse he says something, the other verse say the opposite. Let us go to the second <clears throat> comment. All right, this is the first Abdul. Let's go to the second Abdul. <coughs> uh, this is a guy, he called himself Isaac. Isaac. And Isaac, he said in different uh, comment, that he is, do not need to follow anyone. He is descended from Ishmael. And Abraham, why are you an Egyptian? Ishmael, he is a son of an Egyptian woman. He married to Egyptian women. So are you Egyptian? And we cannot say all the Egyptian are from Ishmael because simply there's Egyptian already exists before him. <laughs> and the proof is mother. <laughs> so how you know that you are from Ishmael? Potato. But look at this. He said the Quran was not revealed as a tool or a guide of science, but rather its contained words point to modern science. Okay, I like that. You tell me how in the world this is point to modern science that the Quran saying that uh, you used to be a sperm and then became a congealed blood. <clears throat> as long as it point, point, right? I like when you said it's it point to modern, it point. Okay, I'm pointing now. How this is point to modern science? You help me. You help me. You are the you are the smart guy. Hmm? What you would do now? This is uh, <clears throat> this is the modern science you are talking about. Then we made the sperm into a clot of congealed blood. Ooh, what is that, man? That's deep. This is how the Quran point. Okay, so guys, the Quran is not a book of science. With the Muslim, you say that we made books about science and Quran. Okay, so I will go with you. Quran is not a book of science, neither the Bible. All right. But when your God Allah says how he created you, is he saying how he created you or he is lying to you? 
forget about science he is saying to you a statement i'm making a statement my name is allah okay and then we made the sperm into a congealed blood hmm. what do you say about this what do you say is that what science says? Go and read all the, the website. Have nothing to do with the Christianity. Go and read the uh, atheist the doctor's website. Who is speaking about pure science? Is that what scientists they say? That you used to be a sperm and then the sperm became a blood? What kind of a blood? Dead blood? Congeal the blood? Now he mentioned something here which I like very much. So he said, the Canadian doctor, here we go, they keep bringing the same potato. The Canadian doctor, Dr. Keith Moore, an expert of embryology, was astonished when he knew about the Quran and the human creature. Let me show you what the, this doctor he said. <laughs> here we go. This is your doctor. He was quoting another doctor and he said the following. Read with me carefully. You see, this guy is a potato. When they gave him a check in Saudi Arabia, he wrote a different book. But he have a book, and you can go and read and laugh at him. He said, let me make it bigger, hold on. Arabian science so justly uh, themed for its success in certain branches was not a great help to embryology. My friend, Mr. Reborn, Rebain, I don't know how to say it, Levy, has collected for me the following embryology express, uh, sorry, experts from the Quran. We, we, and he is quoting the same exact verse. He quote all the verses speaking about that. But he's saying this is, was not a great help for embryology. So the Arab, they were successful in anything except this one. This is Dr. Moth, Dr. Keith Moore, whatever your name, his name. This guy is a fraud, my friend. They invited him to Saudi Arabia. They gave him a big check. Secondly, he, so he make a book against his book. Potato. Go and read the book. He was using the quotation. And this is the guy, he says, okay, well, how did he say this? And then he said this, he was quoting the other doctor. And look, the statement is so clear that the Arab, they have success in many things. When it's come to embryology, it was wrong. Why? Because they are using the Quran. Look, he did not say the Arab only, he said the Quran. This is your doctor. Quoting another writer, another doctor saying, well, I agree with this. Arabian science so justly from blah, 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 blah. It was not a great help for, was not a great help for embryology. What does that mean? It's mean the Quran was stupid. So, Dr. K, you know, like I'm actually me myself. I'm uh, uh, like I was surprised to find such a statement. This guy he said himself, and he is the one who made the book saying the Quran uh, discover something. And for sure, everybody in the world rejected the book, and it's it's a joke. But the same guy write two things against each other. Why? This is before he got paid, and that one is after he got paid. Very simple. Before he got paid and after, they are not the same. Right? Well, uh, Rob is saying that the Quran, the, he wrote a new book. I don't know if this is a new book. If you have it, you know, uh, share it with us. You know, for me, I don't care. I mean, whoever, like, let us say, there's many, there's many, they might want me to make money. Like, if I make a book right now, 
about how amazing Muhammad and I am a Christian and let us say you know what I can do that I am a person his name is a Christian prince is very famous between the Muslims you know very anti-islamic religion we love the Muslims but we don't accept Islam it's a cult if I write a book right now saying Muhammad is a wonderful man I assure you every Muslim will buy my book I will become rich and they will use what I say to prove you wrong. This is a Christian prince saying that. But then how a Christian prince will explain that he wrote other four books saying totally the opposite. <laughs> Nobody needs his explanation. <laughs> so stop using this stupid Dr. Morth. He is an idiot. He is a liar. He is a fraud. He made fun of the Quran. And even if he make a book right now saying the Quran is a fraud, shame on him because you should not make the first one. Let us see the rest of the comments. <clears throat> um. And as long, by the way, I mean, why you want to bring to me Dr. Moore, but you don't you don't answer what the video is saying about your prophet? What about your prophet saying how uh, uh, how things is created? Do you think Dr. Moore he knew better? Huh? Like what about if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a male. If the woman have orgasm, the baby will be a female. And the Muslims, in order to cover the the, the stupidity, look what they put between two bracket. I i.e. of central portion. Mm -hmm. This is about orgasm. What over central portion? Blah, blah, blah. And then the second bracket here says the chromosome, chromosome and genes. Genes? Is that uh, like a genes the one I bought from Walmart? <laughs> Muhammad was talking about the chromosome. <laughs> Muhammad he says if the man the woman she wash it if she see it she wash it if she see it how this is became a chromosome it's a liquid it's yellow even he said the word yellow it is coming out from the women and by the way why the women she have a yellow orgasm oh boy std let us see <clears throat> hmm Let us see this one. Which one? Which one? Hold on. Okay. I don't want this one. Here we go. You see how they lie? The messenger of Allah said the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow. Which of whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. When Muhammad compared the water of the women and the water of the man, what is that? The water of the man is the sperm. And the water of the women is her orgasm. Muhammad considered it as a sperm too. And how we can confirm that this is what is coming forth, uh, out? The Quran, chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. It says, gushing forth. In different hadith, it says here the following. Hold on. <coughs> Hmm. Read with me carefully. This is all the same hadith. Ummu Salim, she came to Muhammad and said to him, Should I wash, perform bath after I have wet a dream? Most of women they see what a dream and what you can do. They are they, they are so you know what the dreams. Allah Messenger, Allah does not refrain from saying the truth. Is it obligatory for a woman to take a bath after she get a nocturnal discharge? He said yes, if she notice i.e. water. <laughs> and then his wife, the wife of Muhammad, because obviously Muhammad he never gave his wife orgasm, he said, his wife, she said. Does women get discharged? 
I mean, here I find this, the question, by the way, is astonishing. That the Muslim, they speak about Muhammad, how strong he is in bed. Because he's a prophet, you know. If you are a prophet, you have to be good in bed. You cannot be a prophet and you are not good in bed. You will lose your license as a prophet. So the prophet who is so good in bed, his wife, she is surprised. Do the women have orgasm? And then Muhammad, he said, look what he said to explain it. He says, huh, yeah, sure. Then why the child resembled the mother? You see, Muslims, the orgasm, discharge. So according to Muhammad, the discharge of the women, which is coming out of her private part, is what make the baby resemble the mother. How clear we can make it more. But hold on. The Muslims, they have an answer. They will give us this. Mr. Arun will come back to the text and will say, Certainly the disbelief who believe the Messiah is Allah. That's it. He got you busted. That's it. He answer you. He answer you. Wow, you cannot complain. But what we learn from this is that the Prophet never gave his wife orgasm and his wife, she was like, what the heck? What I'm missing? What kind of husband I have? The wife, she never heard that the women, she can have orgasm. That means Muhammad, he did not give orgasm to any of his wives. So what he gave them? Quran. Quran. You know, remember, the Muslims supposedly, they want to refute me about a verse in the Quran. If you go to my book, Sex and Allah, I don't know how many of you have it. Uh, there's a verse in the Quran. It says, <laughs> I don't know how we can keep this video now. Oh boy. When Aisha, she came to Muhammad and she started playing with his hair. <laughs> Muhammad, he said, I seek refuge with the Lord of the dawn, from the mischief of created things, from the mischief of darkness and overspread. Does it say overspread? Muslims, who agree with this interpretation as a translation? Anyone? When I have that in my book, many, they got surprised and were shocked that this is about the penis of Muhammad. Who is a Muslim when to say to me, I'm lying? Anyone? Is it true that this verse is about when the penis is 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 is, uh, is up, or I'm lying? <clears throat> That's deep. That's deep. So why we don't see? Why we don't see the verse saying that in the in the English translation? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Any Muslim want to say to me, this is a lie? This is not true? Anyone? Anyone in the bushes? Is it true that this is about the penis of Muhammad and the Aisha, she came to him playing with his hair and Muhammad, he don't know what to do? He cannot have sex. Saying, I seek refuge by Allah. And if you notice here, the word is mentioned that Muhammad, he claimed 
that somebody did uh, magic on him. Magic. And this is totally consistent with other hadith in the, in the, in the, in the Sahih where it says that the Prophet, he imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. Why? Because he was bewitched. So Muhammad, he was bewitched, according to Muhammad and his wife and his family. Muhammad, he cannot perform his sexual duty as a husband, claiming that somebody put a magic over his penis. So his penis is not working. Aisha, she said, the Prophet continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that he had boom boom, he did nikah to his wives, but in fact he did not. One day he said to me, Aisha, Allah instructed me regarding the matter about which I had asked him. Going back to the verse, you will notice that it makes very much sense that this is about his penis. And this is what the interpretation is saying in Shia and Sunni books. In Shia and Sunni books. Any Muslim want to argue about it? <clears throat> Anyone? Nobody? Okay, it will look like the Muslims agree. I mean, what, what we can do. <clears throat> the best thing is when they agree. And even, by the way, the dictionary confirmed that, you know. If you go to the dictionary, uh, like this is Taj al-Arus. This is a book called Taj al-Arus, volume number two, page number 474. And it's speaking about exactly about Aisha, when Aisha, she came to Muhammad. And she went a boom, boom. And then Muhammad, he said that to her, he says, هذا الغاسق إذا وقب فتعوذي بالله من شره أو معناه أيرون بالخفض <laughs> أي الذكر إذا قام <laughs> I don't know how to translate this one <laughs> what a hilarious I'm going to die one day just laughing you know I wasn't planning to come I said to myself just come here for 10 minutes, make a short video. Yeah, right. Let us translate to English. Hold on, before I translate to English, because this is what happens always when you translate, you cannot go back to this page in the Arabic. Hold on, give me a second. I will open it in different browser. <clears throat> and actually, I will shorten the link for those who want the link. Shorten link. Who won the link? Nobody won the link? And it doesn't matter what you show them. From the dictionary, you show them from Ibn Kathir, you show them from al qurtubi you show them from Al-Tabari, still you are a liar. You are a liar. It doesn't matter what you show them. All right. <clears throat> so this is the book, and this is the link. Let me post it for you before we forgot. Don't forget the uh, posting. You can use Google Translation if you are a Muslim, if you are a Christian, if you are a Hindu, it doesn't matter who you are. This is Google Translation. It's a, you know, it's a plain software. Hmm? It's a software. Okay. Now we will do a translation live in the front of you. Click. Translate.
Mm, this page could not be translated. Why? Let us do it again. Try again. I know for some reason saying this page cannot be translated. I'm not sure why. Let's click it again. Try again. No. Why is that? Because it's so dirty? <laughs> okay, we will use different method. If the Google translation here is not working, let us take to Google, uh, like a, a copy text. Google translate. All right. So what we will do, we will copy the text in the front of you. All right. Let us see. Uh, Hadith of Aisha, etc. It says, okay. We will copy in the front of you and we will take it to Google Peace upon him. Translate. It's taken from the Hadith of Aisha, may Allah uh, bless her, whatever. Uh, the word, you know, uh, from the dark evil when it is stand. You see, the translation is not coming correctly. It's stand, stand, you know. This is the private part. Or what it mean, air. This is the word in Arabic for the penis. Mean, meaning the male private part. When the male private part rises up. Do you see it? And this is mentioned by etc. 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 scholar etc. 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 and Ibn Abbas blah 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 blah. And they would they would say, liar! You are lying! You are lying! It's not true. Let us see. <laughs> Open the window, open the window. It's getting dirty. Let's go to a different topic. <laughs> Actually, I should stop here because there's more topic, more comment. I thought I'm going to make a video for 15 minutes. You guys, I hate you. Seriously, I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. You know what? I'm going to do this. I will give you a warning. If you don't believe in Allah and His Messenger, Allah will make you, will erase your faces. Which is happening every day, you know, people who don't believe in Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad, he gave up. The Christian will not believe him. The Jews will not believe him. So he decided to scare them. So what he said, believe now before Allah erased your faces. He will erase your nose. He will put your nose on your back. He will make your eyes in your back. He will make your mouth in your back and he will zip it, zip it, zip it, zip it with the with the needle. Where this is going to be found? In chapter 4, verse number 47. The God of Islam is making even a verse about the penis of Muhammad and Muhammad to avoid having sex with Aisha. Obviously, he cannot do it. He claimed that it is somebody he play, he put a black, magic on him. Oh, people of the book believe that what we have now revealed, confirming what is... Uh, guys, you know, look look at the stupid translation. How was already with you? Was already with you or already with you? Okay, was already with you. So how the Muslim they say the Bible is corrupted when they, uh, Muhammad confirming what they have with them? Muhammad confirming the Bible between their hands. And he continues saying, Before, before we change the faces and fame of some of you beyond all recognition, you will not recognize us, that's it. Allah will make your faces backward and turn them hindwards or curse them. We curse this, the same as we curse the people of the Sabbath breakers. Okay, what he did to them, he made them pigs and monkeys. Hmm. Yeah, we should make a commercial here about a face mask. And what the Muslim they will say to you? 
They disbelieve those who say the Messiah is Allah. Oh, la la. That's really deep. Let us see a second comment. You know, we want to finish the comment so we can finish for today. Otherwise, we will stay for a century. Here, <clears throat> uh, uh, David, he said, who can replace CP? Nobody. A Muslim, his name is Isaac. Hey, by the way, your name is Isaac. Do you know what Isaac means? This is one of the funny things about Muslims, by the way. In their religion, they copy names, but they do not know what they mean. If you ask a Muslim, what Abraham mean? They don't know. Isaac? They don't know. Israel? They don't know. Jibreel? They don't know. Mikael? They don't know. <laughs> Fool, this is a theft religion. Now, his, their prophet don't know how they will know. And the only way to know is to go, you know, like, remember... Uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, God is with us, Elijah. <laughs> anyway, uh, don't worry, they will be donkey after donkey after CP the, to the until the end of the time. Okay, hold on. It was Satan's request to allow him to astray the descendants of Adam. Look, hold on. Satan, he asked Allah to allow it to happen, and Allah, he agree. That's deep. And notice you are talking about donkeys. Satan request, who is the one who request? Satan. He requests from who? From Allah. What he requests to do? <laughs> To allow him to astray. <laughs> Except those who they are chosen. <laughs> so, so Satan, he called Allah, Allah, can I deceive a Christian prince? Allah, he said, you know what? He's yours. <laughs> and except those who they are chosen. Uh -huh. So what is my fault? And what is your what is your uh, uh, accomplishment? You are chosen. I am not. I mean, this is stupid. So you see, in the Bible it says that God He chose His people, but His people they knew Him too, which means He from their fruit you will know them. Those are the chosen one. No problem. God He knew your future, but here you are saying that Shaitan He asked Allah for request. Can I mislead them? Allah said, yes, go ahead. So Allah and Shaitan, they are partners. However, Abdul, you may talking about donkeys. Let me show you who is the donkey here. Because the Quran mentioned the word donkey. I don't know if you are aware of that. The Quran says that there is people who carry books, but they are the same as donkeys. They carry it, but they cannot read it. And I agree with that. Maybe this is the only thing is wise is in the Quran. But this is talking about you, not about me. It's speaking about people who carry the Torah. They are the same as donkeys who carry it in their back, but they cannot understand it. Well, Muhammad, he cannot understand. He cannot even read it according to Muslims. So Muhammad, he carried the Torah. He is a donkey who cannot read the Torah. Not in Arabic, not in English, not in Hebrew, not in any language. This is number one. Number two, if Muhammad is not a donkey, then how he say the following? You see, I'm going with you. About shaitan, he asked Allah to deceive, right? And Allah, he approved him, right? He said, okay, go ahead. Let us see. In two seconds, we will discover that the shaitan is Allah. Hmm? <clears throat> Chapter 4, verse number 88. Remember, you are the one who said that shaitan, he asked Allah for permission to deceive us, right? Read carefully. Why should you divide into two parties about the hypocrites? Allah has upset, upset them for their evil deeds. Would you guide those whom Allah 
deceive, not thrown away. You see, in your text, you said to lead astray, right? Change the translator. You said shaitan, he asked Allah permission to deceive, to lead astray. All right, sound good. Allah has cast him back to disbelief. This is the translation. How Allah did that? In Arabic it says Adal. Adal, deceive. Anyone who speaks Arabic he knew. And look, even here in the translation it says, and whom he, Allah, has made to go astray, you will never find for him any way. Wonderful. Going back to your text, your comment. Who is the one who lead astray in your text? Shaitan. Correct, guys? This guy, he said, the one who lead astray is Shaitan. Wonderful. It says here, Satan requested to allow him to astray. So you are saying the one who make people go astray is Shaitan. Quran say no. And he who whom Allah. Uh, has made to go astray. You will never find for him anyway. So who is Shaitan? People be the judge. Who is Shaitan? Clear evidence from the Muslims. And the funny you are talking about donkeys. Be careful when you talk to someone like me, my friend. In China, they say he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. And again, Isaac, I want to ask you a question. What kind of God he promised me women with big boobs? <laughs> going back to zero <laughs> I mean I'm so interested in this God I mean this God is so good man hey Allah thank you I have a phobia with the small boobs I thought always there's no way God will give us women with the small boobs no way and then what we will do we will send them to Thailand to me a surgery I mean come on this is not acceptable in the heaven of Allah only Allah he think about boobs for he is God, the God of boobs, the booby God. Point, point. So your comment is silly and stupid, eh, but you know what I can do. He left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. <clears throat> Shall we finish today and leave some more comment for later? Let us take maybe, eh, what this one? Oh. Uh, Okay, this is him too. <laughs> Who are they, those people? They cannot even count. What is one plus one plus one is equal to one? Which school they go to? I agree with you. <laughs> I wonder which school you Muslims are going to. Because we Christians, we don't believe in one plus one plus one. If I ask you, who is the first one? Who is the second one? If we go back to the first comment, if you remember, just to show you how confused this religion is and how confused those who call themselves Muslims. Isn't it the Quran says that the Messiah believed that Allah is the Messiah? Going back to Mr. Arun. Read with me. Read with me. They have certainly disbelieved who says that Allah is the Messiah. Look, you idiot. So how the Christian believe that Allah is the Messiah and then you believe that one plus one plus one is equal. Where, where do you get this from? Okay, if Allah is the Messiah, who is the second person? <laughs> very cute. Very cute, very cute. And I love them. I love them really. 
How you claim that we Christian believe that there is one plus one plus one, and your stupid God says, no, the Christian don't believe in one plus one plus one, they believe in one God, and they believe that the Messiah is Allah himself. So which one we should believe, the, the silly you or the silly Allah? Hmm? However, it's in your Quran, you idiot, one plus one plus one, is equal to one. Let us show you. We will try to make this one the last one, the last comment. If we go in the Quran, you will see the same verse is speaking about don't say Trinity, brother. Don't say Trinity, brother. <sighs> okay. Stupidity is amazing. Why we don't have too many people today? Why only 850 something? Yeah, and by the way, the Muslim, they say, a Christian prince, you have 6,000. Either it's just finished. I just finished broadcast, I have 6,000. Hello? What's wrong with you? And who cares? Your prophet, he spent his life, only 70, 70 people believe in him, and then uh, most of them, they are slaves. They are forced to, be, to believe in him. Which means if he, you're a prophet, he opened YouTube channel for 12 years, and only 70 people believe in him, follow him. I mean, oh, what, 70 people? Only? Alhamdulillah. Read with me. Mr. Ramon plus one plus one, it is you who believe in that. We don't believe in this. It says here in the front of you. <clears throat> and the Muslim, they try their best to fix it. This is why you see the translation became so extendable. A lot of text about small Arabic verse. Why? Because they're trying to cover, to cover the stupidity. All people of the book commit no excuse in your treason, nor say that Allah with the truth, Christ Jesus, son of Mary, is... Take the bracket off, this is Muhammadan's putting bracket. Was a messenger, so take a note. He's what? He's a messenger, he's a man. Okay. This is number one. And he is the word. This is number two. And he is a spirit proceeding from him. From who? From God. Three and one. Jesus, all of, Jesus is the man the word the spirit and one in the same time this is in your book right what do you think uh, somebody saying uh, uh, my friend i don't keep my videos if i keep my videos i have a video in two days became seventy-five thousand. I don't keep them. Everybody knows. I can show you now my videos have millions of you. Be potatoes. Don't you see my channel is empty? I don't care for the view really, you know. But anyway, you care, you care. And you know, the, the, the proof that nobody listened to me that you are here. And you are a Muslim. <laughs> I mean, you nobody listened to you. So why are you Muslims? You made hundreds of videos, thousands of videos to refute me and nobody listened to me. Are you stupid or what? I mean, seriously, are you stupid or what? So all those videos you made to refute me and nobody listened to me? Obviously nobody listened. <laughs> are you going to open Palto? All right, you know what? I will open it just for you. Are you going to call me, my friend? All right. Only if you are a Muslim. <coughs> All right. We will take a call for five minutes. It doesn't hurt. <coughs> okay, we are in Pal Talk. Let us see. We have a Muslim. All right. He is not online. This is the first one. Why you? Why you are lying about Islam? 
why he is saying to me the, the you know to me okay <coughs> Hmm. This man is not a Muslim. Not a Muslim. Not a Muslim. Nothing. Okay. Hmm. Not a Muslim. Where is the Muslims? Uh, yeah, Hussein, I'm going to call you. Go ahead. You see, Hussein, I just called you. I didn't know. I, uh, I advise you to use your uh, use your uh, uh, <clears throat> computer. Don't use Let me try to call you again. <clears throat> See, it says call rejected. Maybe you need to add me to your pal talk, Shabir Hussein. Oh, oh, add me to your list. Maybe, maybe I cannot call you because I'm not your new list. Add me to your list so I can call you. Yeah, it's not working. <clears throat> Mr. Shabir saying, why you are lying about Islam? I am interested really to see what Shabir want to say to me. Okay, Hussein, no problem. You see, I'm trying to call you, my friend. It's not working. Uh, admit your pal talk. Click at my name. Admit your pal talk. Change your setting to accept calls because it looks like you don't accept calls. And I'm calling you, you know. Don't make me uh, wait wait long, my friend. I want to talk to you, no problem. <clears throat> All right, let us try now. We will call him now. He says, call me now. Let us try. Uh, see, it says here that you need to update. Are you using a computer or you are using... Uh, see, it says, Shabir Hussein is using older version of Paltalk that does not support our new video audio calling feature so you need you need to uh, to upgrade your change your phone maybe you have an old android i don't know i'm waiting for you i will give you five minutes to fix it otherwise we have you know maybe other time <clears throat> All right. I'm waiting for you, my friend. Is Abbas is here? Abbas, how are you? Uh, Abbas, I will not let you express your view. We heard your view 1000 times and we laugh at them. You forgot Abbas? <laughs> Abbas, he have a view. Even Abbas, he have a view. <laughs> Abbas, he have a view. <laughs> that is the joke of the day. Abbas, Abbas, in, in which, in which most you teach Abbas about your view? I mean, you're a guy who cannot explain a simple thing in your religion. And you have a view? And what we will do with all the calls you give to me and people were laughing at you, it's all already over on the internet. Anyone can go right now and see how Abbas refuted the Christian prince. People will die laughing. So where, where was your view before? Abbas, 
text me in pal talk abbas now i want to hear your view can we do that abbas now i honestly i miss you we miss you abbas come on text me in pal talk we want to hear your view Okay, let's see. Still not working, my friend. Yeah, uh, uh, Shabir Hussein, he gets stronger. I think he takes some, he took some medicine. Look what he sent me. <laughs> Call me, <laughs> my friend. Your medicine is not working. I hope it's not camel urine, my friend. Change your phone or change your. Uh, uh, call me from your computer. All right, obviously your pal talk is not working with your phone system. Maybe you have an old uh, phone. But you are getting stronger, man. It must be the camel urine. According to the Muslims, they have even tons of articles about camel urine, how healthy it is. Very good, very good. Hmm? Even there's articles about camel urine can, can kill Corona. <laughs> True story. So uh, either Abbas or Hussein, are you going to call us or not? I mean, come on, like how many times I keep calling? Let's try one more. It's not working. Uh, okay, what we can do. Scooby Scooby do what you can do. Do you think there's a relationship between Scooby Doo and Allah? Yes. Do you know that the Muslims in their interpretation that Muhammad he said to his cousin, if you don't believe in the Lord of the stars, Allah will send his dog to eat you? <laughs> How in the world the dogs are filthy according to Islam and then Allah have a dog? <laughs> Oh Lord have mercy. <clears throat> this guy he said to me this uh, uh, Sam Shamoon, uh, I, I get you uh, I get you somebody to play with. Uh, hey, good morning, afternoon, evening. I would like to debate you about the Bible as monotheist, monotheist test, text. My friend, my friend, you do not need to debate me, you are a winner. We are monotheist. We believe in one God. Trinity is one God. You are an idiot. Trinity is not three gods. We are people who believe in one God. We don't believe in three gods. We don't have a three gods. We believe in one God. Make it clear. You see, in Arabic, we use the word iqnum. It's better than the word person in English. Like in English, we say person. I find that word in Arabic is more, more, you know. So when we speak God uh, uh, is exists as a three uh, person, maybe the language sometimes doesn't give the, the let us say, uh, uh, the meaning perfectly because the language is short of explaining God. But God in three person is still one God. We don't believe in three gods. We don't have a three gods sitting in three chairs uh, like in a, in a movie. We believe in one God. And we believe that the Messiah is born of the Father. He is not a created. And if God cannot have a son, God cannot be God anyway. Because if he cannot do something, that means he cannot be the Almighty. The second you say that God cannot, it is the same second you just canceled him as God. This is why we call God Almighty. Otherwise, strip him from that title and say he's not Almighty, for he cannot be. You know, if God he is, let us say, a billion person, well, is he either he's God or he's not? A billion person will not make him not God, same as one person. What the difference will be? 
as long he is the one in control as the one as long he is the one who created you as long everything created by him as long he can do everything well he is god if he is one person two person five person seven person so god told told us i am exist in three person if allah said to the muslims allah is exist in three person what the muslim they will say we accept you see the hypocrisy like as an example have you ever seen a muslim laughing at mary she have a child without a father they don't why because the quran says so otherwise the idea is not acceptable i mean it doesn't make sense especially in islam because what is the difference for jesus to have a mother but not to have a father everybody is born of a woman have to have a father from the time of adam the quran gave us a fully a foolish answer saying okay jesus is the same as adam but adam was created from mud you idiot jesus is born of a woman so what the point of saying that mary she is a mother but she have no husband there's no point in christianity it's make very much of, of of sense because jesus is born of no man is born of the father jesus says before abraham i am and yet they say to you where jesus says i am god and yet they say to you well jesus when he, he when he was crucified who was controlling the earth well, don't we believe in the trinity <laughs> Still, my friend, you have to update. Don't waste my time. Hussein, you have to update, my friend. Go fix it. Try it with somebody else. It call somebody from your friends. If it worked, then you can call me. Uh, so, Jesus' story in the Quran make no sense. That Jesus is coming back. Okay, why he will come back? If Muhammad is a final prophet, I mean, what is this kind of movie? Muhammad is the hero, but he died. I mean, have you ever heard of a movie like this? Muhammad is a bad Rambo. So the Muslim, they want to say to us, Muhammad is Rambo. Okay, but he is dead. Okay, who want to finish the movie? Who want to bring victory to God? Jesus, okay. How Muhammad is the last final messenger still Jesus is coming back? That means there's a messenger still coming back. If he is the last one to deliver a message, so Jesus, when he come back, he will not deliver a message? He will not talk at all, he will be mute? If he open his mouth, he deliver a message. If he say one word, he deliver a message. Muhammad is a Rambo with fake animation. Same as Islam. Why all this mystery about Jesus? That he is the word of God. Is Muhammad the word of God? No. Even Muhammad, he called him Ruhullahi wa Kalimatuhu. The, 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 the spirit of Allah and the word of Allah. Well, if Adam is the same as Jesus, then Adam is a sort of a spirit of Allah. And he is the word of Allah. How come this name is given to Jesus only? Or it's only to Jesus. Islam as a fake religion try to use the name of Jesus to create their own fake Rambo stupid one they try to grow missiles for it Quran have science they could not you know nobody believe in the Quran no more so now let us adopt science and say try to make science fit to the Quran by what by corrupting the translation It's a corrupt cult. And when they defend it, they cannot defend it without corrupting their book. They cannot. Right? Uh, 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 Muslim proper, why you don't call me, my friend? As long as you are in the internet. Why you don't want, why you don't call me? What do you think? Do you think Muslim, Muslim Abbas? You see, look, 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 just to show you how Abbas and how the Muslims, they try to defend themselves. Can you explain to me the book of Exodus? All the stupid thing we showed them about Muhammad, now he wanna go to Exodus. 
Okay. I appear to etc etc etc. Can you explain that to me? What is it? God he came to Abraham in his tent. Isn't it God who came and he spoke? And not only those, I will give you more names. What about Moses? So very silly cult. They cannot refute the stupidity of their prophet. Can we go to Exodus? Yes, we can. How you explain to me then Jesus saying, Abraham, he saw my day. That is God. And you Muslim, you say to us, and you are the one who quote the verse saying to us, where Jesus says, I'm God. Who is the one who came to Abraham? Abraham, he saw me, and he saw my day. And God, he came to Abraham as a man. Where Jesus says, I'm God. When we ask the Muslim a question, they give, you, they give you something have nothing to do with the topic. Why Allah promised me women with big boobs? He will say to you, go to Exodus. God came to Abraham. <laughs> oh. God in Exodus 6, you know, it says here, God also told Moses, I am the Lord. I appear to Abraham and to Isaac and to Jacob as God Almighty. But by the name, you know, you can read the rest. Uh, by the way, how come we cannot find this in the Quran? You see, one of the stupid things about Muhammad, that Muhammad as a thief, he copies stories, but he doesn't know what he did by copying them. As an example, he copies names sometimes. If we go and ask a Muslim, if we ask Abbas, you heard the dad making fun of the story of Jacob, like Jacob is struggling with God. <laughs> this is in your book. <laughs> Jacob is wrestling with God. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. So why you call him Israel? Where in the Quran it says that Jacob became Israel and how and what Israel mean? The second you call Jacob Israel, that means you accept the story in the Bible. Do you see it? If you Muslim don't accept the story of Israel, Aka Jacob, why you call him Israel? Any Muslim can tell us? So they make fun of the story, but they are ignorant. They do not know what the name means. The second you accept the name, you accept the story. But because Muhammad is an idiot, he did not know what the name means. So he said, okay, his name is Israel. Okay, and now if we ask the Muslims, okay, where in the Quran? How come the Quran missed to introduce Israel to us? Who is Israel? The Quran says Jacob, Jacob, Jacob many times. And suddenly we have a new person. His name is Israel. Okay, who is Israel? Shouldn't even the Quran says to us how this guy, his name became Israel? My friend, we are not using Skype no more. We are using Paltok. If you cannot fix it, this is your problem. What I can do? I called you many times. I just did. <clears throat> Any Muslim can explain to me the stupidity? So did God appear to Jacob or not? Who is the Muslim and explain to me what the word Israel mean?
Anyone? And where the name coming from? And how come a book doesn't ever explain how the name of Jacob became Israel? Because this is not a meant to be a book of God. This is a magazine, articles. Anyone before we leave uh, Palto? Anyone would like to call us? Because Skype, I have tens of thousands of people asking me when I open it to add me. There's no control of it. Pal Talk is way better. Each time I open Skype, I have like a thousand video uh, 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 window opening. And what difference is going to make for you? Use a Pal Talk. Any Muslim? If we ask Muslims, okay, what is the name Jibreel mean? Jibreel, you say Jibreel, okay, Israel. No, no, no. Those are four names. How Allah, if that's the first time He spoke to Adam, Adam spoke to him in Arabic, and yet the names are not in Arabic. Why the name of Jibreel, Jibreel? Why, what, why don't call him an Arabic name? What Jibreel mean? No, no, no. What Allah mean? They don't know. They don't know. This is the religion, it's called Allah know best. And what Allah know? That a baby is created from a sperm coming from the backbone and the ribs. That the baby is created from a sperm and the sperm became a congealed dead blood and then it became a lump, not a fetus. And then we made the lump into a bones. Which means in this moment, there's nothing but bones. <laughs> and by the way, the Muslims, they quote, they quote for you that a prophet in the Bible, in the Old Testament, he is meditating to God saying, you you know, you, uh, you made me solid like from yogurt, like yogurt, you know, etc. And you made me uh, a flesh and you, you know, and you cover my bones. But this guy is meditating. He's not telling you how God created it. He is talking to God. It's not God saying, I made you this way. It is you who make it science. And Allah here is saying that he made the sperm into a congealed blood. This is stupid. And you're a prophet who explain it, and this is stupid. And you're a prophet who confirmed that the baby, the sperm, will stay in the womb for 40 days, and this is stupid. Read with me carefully. Let us see. Read with me carefully. The Prophet of Allah said, At every womb Allah appoint an angel, who says, O oh Lord, a drop of semen, O oh Lord, a clot, O oh Lord, a little lump of a flesh. Then Allah, he wishes a creation, and he decides to be male and female. So according to this, the first is a sperm, the second is a dead blood, the third is a lump, and then at the end, male or female, science says the opposite, that the second the sperm enter into the woman, that sperm is already male or female. That is a lie. Then let us see more. Hmm. Read carefully. You are in the mother womb for 40 days as a sperm. Any Muslim want to refute this? Abbas, he can refute it. He said to you, go to Exodus. <laughs> 40 days as a sperm and 40 days as a Alaqa and 40 days as a flesh total is 120 days any Muslim want to answer 
which one can explain the Quran better, Muhammad or or uh, Keith Moore, the infidel? You see the hypocrisy. When we show them what their prophets say, they don't want it because their prophet, what he say, is embarrassing. It's exposing their lies. Let us see the hadith, more hadith. <laughs> Hold on. Hmm. Read carefully. I mean, how clear we can make it. The messenger of Allah, the truthful, the receiver of the truth, is receiving truth, is a receiver, is a satellite dish, saying the creation of you, the human, is gathered in the form of semen in the womb of your mother for 40 days. How clear we can make it? But don't worry, the Muslims, they have answer for you. They disbelieve those who believe that the Messiah is Allah. My, brain, my friend, answer the stupidity of your Quran and your prophet. What does this have to do with my topic? They disbelieve those who believe the Messiah is Allah. Okay, this is the answer now? How your prophet says that you are gathered in the form of a semen in the womb for your for your mother womb for 40 days. Do you have an answer? They disbelieve those who say the Messiah is Allah. Look at the comment when we finish our video and see what the Muslim will say. They disbelieve those who say the Messiah is Allah. But this is another question. Why are you a prophet saying a stupid thing that the, you are as a sperm in your mother womb for 40 days? And guys, do you know what Muhammad is saying here? Maybe some of you did not get it. Uh, let me use my art. Should I use my art? I know many of you like my art. Let us be honest here. Actually, many of you are here for the art purpose, purpose, you know? Come on. I mean, come on. Huh? Let us uh, yeah, use uh, some uh, art, artistic art. Okay, let us see. <clears throat> to explain the hadith of Muhammad, this is uh, this is a pure science now. Excuse me, you know, you know, I'm very good in art. Why, why, why people are laughing? Why people are laughing? I noticed some people are bullying me now. Are you making fun of my art? I will report you to the principal. Okay? Don't make fun of my art. It's a very good art. Actually, I was named by uh, uh, Joe Biden's husband to be the artist of America. So, the hadith is saying that you are collected 40 days. So, let's say... I'm going to make a make a little uh, in a draw like hold on what a draw just horrible you don't even know I don't even know how the how the womb look like hold on let me do some correction wait a second all right man Hmm. Let us see. I search in Google about woman womb. 
Now, what I see here, this is confusing. Which one is the womb? Where is the womb? Hold on. Ah, here we go. So now, okay, this is my drawing, by the way. I just draw it fast, very fast, very easy. And I put all the numbers next to each other. Okay, as you see, this is my own drawing. You know, Alhamdulillah, I'm very good in art. And this is not copy from Google or a picture from Google. No, this is true. All right. Uh, exclusive president. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, uh, so you are collected for 40 days in the mother womb as a sperm. Let us do it this way to explain what Muhammad is saying. So you are coming now as a sperm. This is a drop of a sperm. Go in, second drop, other drop. Like every day, your you know your father having sex with your mother. Drop after drop after drop, and then by time, brother, you will have a lot of sperm. Look, this is sperm accumulated, something something related, you know, accumulated. Forget it. Anyway, I will use different word. So the word, you know, accumulated, you know. So the sperm now is coming, like because your dad is keep having sex, like boom, 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 the whole day, like you know. And now your mother, she is collecting sperm for forty days, like uh, forty days, boom, 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 boom. You have to do a lot of boom, forty days of booms. So now by time, this is the sperm is collected for forty days, forty days. After forty days. Your mother, she would have a lot of a sperm, like maybe two kilos. Now, depending on your father, you know, excuse me, you know, if your father like it, you know, I mean, I don't know what he, he can do every day. Uh, so after 40 days, like your mother, she have like two, two kilograms of sperm. And now you are ready to be a baby. That's what Muhammad is saying. That's so good. How the prophet, the page crushed, the page could not handle what the topic is. <laughs> Even the page crushed. <laughs> what happened? How the page crushed? Come on, what happened? It says the page crushed. You believe it? Let me refresh again. <laughs> yeah. Any Muslim have a comment? How, did, how in the world Muhammad he says such a thing? You are collected in your mother womb for 40 days as a sperm. And this is a prophet of God saying so. What is the answer? Uh, read for me Exodus. Uh, God, he appeared to Abraham. Explain to me this me. <laughs> Disbelief those who believe Jesus is Allah. <laughs> What this have to do with my topic? <laughs> so now the Muslims, guys, if I am the one who say that the sperm will be collected for 40 days, what the Muslim they will say? He's a liar. Let us make a video. He's a liar. But their prophet says so. Like the, the page is crushed again. What's wrong with this page? Unbelievable. Must be hosted by Allah. You're a liar. But this is your website. This is your website. This is your translation. This is your hadith. This is a, it's preserved by you, printed by you, translated by you, published by you. You're a liar. Watch the comments section after we finish. They will ignore it as if I said nothing. As if I said nothing. Because for them, I said nothing. You know, they go blind. They go in denial because the truth is ugly. And you know, ask yourself, if Muhammad is a prophet of God and he is saying this, I mean, why he is lying? Why he is claiming something not true? So was Muhammad half a truthful, half liar? Liar is a liar. Was he half honest? Half deceiving. Liar is a liar.
And remember, he said, you are gathered in the form of a semen. In the what? In the form of a semen. You are gathered. Your mother have to collect semen of 40 days before a baby can happen. Do you know why Muhammad the fool, he said that? Who want to help me? Let's see how many of you is a, is a is fast thinker. Who, who, who knows why Muhammad, he says that? Anyone? Who want to help me? Everything have a reason. Everything have a reason. Why Muhammad he said that? Okay, let me help you. The women she have her period. Hey ladies, help us. How usually the period occurred and when a woman she get a bright net, when the period stop? When she noticed that? When she noticed right away, a week after, how long it take? Anybody can help us? So what Muhammad noticed that a woman, when she is having a child, there's a time when the period stopped. And Muhammad, he think in this time, the woman, she is collecting a sperm. She have enough sperm to make a baby. So the woman, she, you know, the, the coming period did not come. And because Muhammad, he stuck with the number 40. And women, then she noticed there is something not normal happening. So Muhammad, he come with the conclusion that it takes 40 days for the women to collect sperm, which is going to make the baby. Because they will not notice that there is no period until the coming period. You know, remember, we are talking about the old days, like they don't check, they don't have uh, testing machines or etc. So the normal thing is the women, she have no period. And the Quran, by the way, just to show you how stupid the Quran, the Quran as an example, consider that the women, if she don't have a period for three months, that means she is now clean from a baby. She doesn't have a baby. This is why if a Muslim man, he divorced his wife, she have to wait for three months, three period, blood period, before she can remarry again. But here Muhammad, he have his reasons. And the only reason I can find that Muhammad, he think that the women, she is collected, collecting a sperm until she have enough sperm in her womb. This is why you see in some tafsir about Jesus as an example, you will see that God, Allah, he blow into Mary vagina and then he moved the sperm which Allah put inside her. Can you believe it? And he moved her sexual desire so that the sperm became a child. The madness of Muhammad. Anyway, I, I hope that today we have a good time. Actually, I wasn't planning to come today, but I said to myself, look at the comment. They are fun. Let us do some fun. Did we have fun? Now, focus with me in the comment section. The Muslim comment have nothing to do with the topic. The question again, Muslims, this is my question. Let me repeat it. How your prophet says you are collected as semen for 40 days in the mother womb, and then you are a blood, dead blood, not a clinking thing as here it says in the translation. This is false translation. It says alaqa. That's a lie. For 40 days. And then you became a bones for other 40 days. What your God is talking about? No answer. As usual. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Some of you are not getting notification when we go live on air. That's why we say go and join us in Patreon. So you receive an email from Patreon as soon as I post that I'm going live on air. Because obviously YouTube is not doing that for some reason. We don't know. We don't want to accuse YouTube of something. Maybe it's not true. Maybe maybe it's a failure in their software. We don't know. 
but whatever it is there you will be notified immediately thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you all and uh uh okay before we go before we go we have our brother sam shamon he's going to be uh, live uh, let us put his comment if you like to join him you can click at his name actually and you can join him god is willing i am live on third in 30 minutes discussing muhammad being as sewer or i don't know what that mean excuse me i don't know what the language what the what word mean in english so guys he will be live on air and if you like to join him feel free and don't forget to subscribe to those who uh, expose this cult uh, but just be careful when you go to sam shamoon uh, you know uh, page is you don't have patient like me i'm warning you <laughs> be careful he's a wonderful person and he's here in the chat he hear me but he don't have patient and he tell you that you know so you have to be careful about what you post because you don't have patient i do he don't so many people think about him like he is not being nice to them but the fact he is being nice to you this is how he is all right and every one of us is different all right so don't judge him for being upset for something you said he's not upset from you he's upset from what you said and if you want to explain it be sure to post something clear in the chat so he will not misunderstood you because sometimes text is a plain sometimes text is a stupid sometimes text does not explain you you know so uh, he's a wonderful person but he have limited patience that's all so i want to say thank you guys uh, and uh, we pray that the lord uh, will give us uh, more uh, more saved muslims we love them never hate them hate what they do maybe but don't hate the people right people are always they do things wrong because they are victims they've been lied to they've been fooled even when somebody commit a crime mostly he is a victim of something victim of a maybe a bad mother who did not teach him that stealing is wrong a society who taught you to be bad and they they made you think that if you are bad you are good a religion maybe who made you think that by killing somebody you are serving god but the idea of being a victim does not mean that you have no responsibility for your crimes Time will come and God will say to you, all what we gave you, still you became a victim? The question is, is God going to forgive the fool? No. No. Being a fool is not a reason to be forgiven. To know that you were a fool and to repent is a reason to be forgiven if he forgive you. How about Robert Christian or anyone who speak again? See, my my friend, I cannot judge people. I don't I don't watch uh, 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 Rob uh, videos. I don't know much about him. But anyone, we encourage everybody. You know, he's better than those who don't do anything. So can we say? I mean, there's only few people they stand for this evil. Only few. If you count how many Muslims they standing against Christianity, endless. So you as a Christian, if you really care for the truth, don't care for the person. You should not care for me as a Christian prince. You should care for what, what we do. It's not about a person. It's not about a name. This is not about a person. This is not about Sam Shamoon or anyone. This is about what they do. When we do good, support us. When we do bad, don't. When we speak good, support us. When we speak bad, don't. It's not about a person. Never support a person. Support the fruits. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them, not from their names. There's many in this chat. They are Muslims and they use the Christian names and they curse Muhammad just to call so they can get your email. They can get your information. They do that. Actually, before I have an admin, an admin, and he was a Muslim. He's trying to fool me. He cursed Muhammad. And actually, the reason I took him off first because he keeps saying filthy word. He they, they use extreme language against Muhammad to convince you 
that he is not a Muslim trying to spy at the Christians here so don't be fooled by names don't be fooled by a person even say to you I'm a priest there's no good in the man except what God he gave him so God he gave me something good either I preserve it or I destroy it otherwise it's not that good on me so if you are expecting a person to be good his name is etc you are a fool because men they do sin men they do lie men they do they do what they do this is why I find it very uh, very silly when somebody get shocked about like a priest who was a bad person we discovered that he's a bad person why you are why you are shocked don't you know that the Bible says all men are sinners how it come to your mind even for a second that there is a man he is not you should not be shocked actually I advise you to fear those who speak good more than those who don't speak good because those who speak good usually they can deceive more than those who speak bad not all of them but many of them they do speak good but they do bad they say something and they do something so don't fool yourself and everyone everybody is sinner including me so don't listen to me when I speak about God listen to God when he speak about himself I'm here to share with you knowledge about the culture of Islam I'm not a priest I'm not even a Bible teacher and I'm the last one to be a priest I'm a person who carry my gun wherever I go so uh, the reason we want to share knowledge because it's a knowledge and you should know it so nobody can deceive you knowledge is power and the one who don't have it he is short of power when you have knowledge you can fight everything why we die with, we, why we die with cancer because we don't have knowledge if we have knowledge really how we can fight cancer we will fight it the same as we fight the flu in certain time people used to die by millions from flu normal flu now flu kill very few number why because we have a medicine very simple medicine but at the one point that simple medicine wasn't exist knowledge same for corona same for cancer same for Islam it is knowledge knowledge can give you eternity with Jesus not me when you are with God God is with you and to be with God you have always to be firm, firm vigilant smart and not to let people to deceive you there's many cults not only Islam there's Jehovah's Witnesses there's Mormon there's all kind of madness there is only one way to be with God is to listen to him not to the man Jesus said I listen Christian Prince said that's not really God talking that's a man he might be wrong he might be good he might be bad take knowledge study it search it confirm it or if it's a lie throw it in the garbage never take what people say to you for granted anything I show you in the screen check it out maybe it's true maybe this is my website no it's not but maybe don't let people fool you this is my advice to everybody all right so thank you very much for being here and thank you for those who always come and join us and I hope we had a good time two hours this is my short video unbelievable you know what next time I'm going to go live maybe I should disable the chat because this is what make my videos English it's your chat usually we blame the Jews but today I'm going to blame you <laughs> we as a Muslim we have to blame the Jews you know why we don't have electricity the Jews okay why we have a hole in the street the Jews Okay, what what why your wife she is not having a, a children the Jews brother how I can have sex with my wife and we have Jews you know and this is what Muhammad with his false knowledge 
about the Jews. He had to blame somebody of his failure. According to Muhammad, if your food in your refrigerator is not good because of the Jews, read it. The Messenger of Allah saying, had not, had it not been children of Israel, meat would not have been decayed. Even the meat is damaged is because of the Jews, according to Muhammad. Don't be that person who put his stupidity or bad decisions on someone else. Don't be like Muhammad. He's a fraud. And by the way, this is this is exists many places. You will see even sometimes some Christians they blame the Jews for anything. Carrying on with the or they take a verse from the Bible like the synagogue of of Satan. The synagogue of Satan, my friend, is those who they are the hypocrite, the liars. But not every Jew. Synagogue of Satan can be a Christian church too. Where the priest is a child molester like Muhammad, but not the people. There's bad, there's good. From their fruits, you shall know them. So I wanna say thank you. God bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And God bless. Take care.